So in this video, I'm going to talk about the amino acid structure as well as the peptide bond formation process. All amino acids have three things in common. So all amino acids have an amino group. So as you can see over here, this NH2 is an amino group. And there's one right there as well. Additionally, all amino acids have a carboxyl group. So right here, the COOH, and here as well. And then lastly, all amino acids have a hydrogen. So these are all off of a central carbon right here. The thing that sets amino acids apart, though, is the side chain. So as you can see here, R is the designation for the side chain. And the side chain is the most important thing in determining how reactive the amino acid is what the amino acid will bind to, whether it's polar, nonpolar, etc. Another thing to mention is that if you're given a sequence of amino acids and then people don't tell you which side is which, it is implied that the amino acid is read from the N terminus, which is the amino side, to the C terminus, which is the carboxyl side. So usually when people list a bunch of amino acids, they'll usually be one letter abbreviations. And so each amino acid has its own letter designation. For example, for example, the amino acid alanine is designated by the letter A. So this will be more commonly used in your biochem classes. And we'll go over each amino acid abbreviation, and I have some tips and tricks about how to remember it and we can do that in future videos but for now we should get back to talking about amino acid structure as well as how a peptide bond forms we talked about the general amino acid structure so we have a amino group right over here and then we have a carboxyl group right over here and then a hydrogen and all of these are attached to a central carbon and then we have the variable R side chain now, remember from previous videos that we can combine amino acids in order to make proteins, because proteins essentially are just a string of amino acids, just a bunch of amino acids combined together. And in order to do this, it's a process called a dehydration process. So you're going to take out a water in order to combine the two amino acids. And so as you can see here, an OH from the carboxyl group of one amino acid is going to combine with the hydrogen of the amino group of the second amino acid, and then that's going to create a molecule of water. But then, if you can kind of imagine it, it might be a little hard to imagine, but this carbon is now missing a bond to this oxygen, and this nitrogen is now missing a bond to this hydrogen. So then they'll combine, right here is the peptide bond. So the carbonyl carbon is going to be attached to the amino nitrogen. And you lose a water molecule as well, right over here. So that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this.